Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Good morning, Scorpions. I'm Taylor Smith with your Scorpion News Live. Did you know it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month? One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. Breast cancer is the second leading cause of death among women, so let's be aware as early detection can save lives. By the way, guys, while it's rare, you can get breast cancer as well. Now let's watch a PSA. So nice hanging out with you. You look so pretty in this picture. It's nice seeing you today. Wow, why are you wearing that shirt? Oh my gosh, what's wrong with your face? Why'd you do that with your hair? Can somebody please say ugly? Do you even wear the alternate? You look pretty dumb. Is that what you call cute? Scorpions, let's stop this bullying. The most common form of cyberbullying is cyberbullying. Tomorrow is the last day of anti-bullying month, but don't, that doesn't mean it should stop then. Hola, this Saturday, November 1st, is Dia de los Muertos, a Mexican holiday where we honor loved ones and who have passed away. We create colorful and creative altars that celebrate the life and times of that individual. Spanish Club. Spanish Club will be hosting a festival event Saturday in the gym at 4 to 6 p.m. And we would like to invite everyone to uh, attend and participate. There will be music, delicious, authentic food, and crafts for sale. Now let's watch a fast fact and an ad for Drama's new production. Hey guys, I'm Erin. And I'm Summer. And, and this, this is Fast Facts. Facts. Did you know the first jack-o'-lanterns were actually made from turnip? What's a turnip? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That looks weird. Did you also know the largest pumpkin ever broke the world record in 1993 with an 836-pound pumpkin? Whoa, that's a big pumpkin. Well, that's all for today, guys. See you next time. Fast, Fast Facts, Facts out. <laughs> Coming to you this fall, Hesperia Drama brings a production of The Wind in the Willows. Join Mole on an adventure making friends along the way, including Ratty, Mr. Toad, Mr. Badger, Otter, and the Chief Weasel. Come and support Hesperia Drama November 13th through 15th starting at 7 p.m. with tickets and pricing at $6 for children, $7 with ASB presale, and $8 at the door. Wow. I didn't know that about pumpkins. Speaking of drama, congrats to Christian Massey, Michelle Kennedy, and Samantha Nareen, and Adam Mason for taking third in fall festival with their scenes from Perks of Being a Wallflower. Great job. Make sure you go to see drama's next production of Wind in the Willows on November 13th through 15th. Tickets are on sale from cast members for only $7. It's the 8th Annual Band Spectacular. All 21 Hesperia schools are involved. Over 400 musicians will be there. It will be next Wednesday, November 5th at 7 p.m. at the Scorpion Stadium. There will be a bonfire next Tuesday in the Scorpion Stadium to kick off the big game against Oak Hill. The seniors that have not signed up for the SAT, make sure you sign up now. The deadline for the December SAT is next Thursday. Don't forget to sign up. Now let's turn it to Kiara with her live Scorpion Sports. Hey Scorpions, I'm Kiara Prez here with you live today to give you an update on our lovely October sports. 
Also, I hope you're all wearing your jerseys in support of Spirit Week. So today we have an away game at Serrano for JV and Varsity Girls tennis team at 315. So best of luck to you ladies. Also, another game we got going on today is our stunning volleyball team. Freshman JV and Varsity will be playing at 3.30, 4.30, and 5.30 here at Hesperia High School against Sultana. Best of luck to you ladies. Now I'd like to mention the Mount Sac Invitational Cross Country event, which our Scorpions competed in a very intense course and did a phenomenal job. Michelle Garrett even got fifth place. Great job, Cross Country. Now I'd like to give a shout out to Alex Hernandez, who got not third, not second, but first place in the Halloween Open Tournament last Saturday. Great job, Hesperia High School wrestling team. Now I know we had a rough game last Friday against Serrano, but we had a great game at Burroughs with the score of 38 to 31. Also, I know it's been a few weeks since the homecoming game, but I can't help but mention the amazing win against Apple Valley, 28 to 24. I definitely have high hopes for the next game. Speaking of the next game, let's take a look at our key game history. Hi, my name is Jordan. We're gonna go around um, asking people if they know the history about the key game. I know that it's a football game fighting for the key of the city against our school and whatever school that's chosen. Sultana. Key game? Nah, not really. No. Not at all? No. None of you guys? No. 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 Not at all? Do you have any? I don't. Not at all? Not really. What is the key? All my doors is open. You tripping, bro. How do you not know what the key game is? Do you know any history of the key game? Actually, I do. Back in 1995, when our school was overpopulated, another high school was open, which was Sultana. In 1995, when Sultana was first opening, we did not own a football field, so we shared the football field. Where did the term key game come from? It was a football game that was played to decide who had the figurative key to the city. The first key game was a home game at Sultana. Oh, that's cool. Didn't we win the last two meetings? Yeah, we did. So come out and support our Scorpions. Let's make it three in a row. Wow, I didn't know all that stuff about the key game history. Very interesting. So Scorpions, this Saturday at 7 at Sultana will be the key game. Also, we have here with us Eddie Gleason to come out and support your football team, B Sultana, this Saturday. A Rod here with a personal invitation to Saturday's game. Be there to watch us win. All right, back to you, Kayla. The Key Game Pep Rally will be tomorrow, but don't forget about the Key Game is on Saturday at Sultana. Let's go and cheer our team on. Good luck to the football team and wear your black and gold tomorrow. Can you believe that next Friday is progress report time? If you need to bring up those grades, go to the tutoring center here on campus in P10 on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. to get help with your homework. Use the computers or just have a comfortable place to focus on some schoolwork. There will be snacks available for so, let, on grade scorpions. Th that's it for this episode. Check out us on hysteriabroadcasting.com, Twitter at Scorpion News, or text us at 760-713-6575. See you next time. Hey, have you seen Sam? It's been like a week. No, I haven't actually. What have you done to me? 